This super quick video is in our engine snack series. And uh, well, engines are amazing at uh, sacrificing material, whether they're attacking or whether they're defending. And in this game, Leela plays a, a fantastic uh, pawn sacrifice in order to neutralize Stockfish's initiative and, uh, and leave Stockfish with nothing but equality. Um, I think it's very important to study how uh, engines defend because nobody does it like them. So let's have a look at this position. So, I mean, one of the, the difficult skills in, in practical chess is, uh, is, is judging uh, proportionality. Um, by that I mean knowing whether the course of action you're taking properly fits the needs of the position. Um, I mean, I'm frequently amazed at the ease with which um, engines uh, sacrifice material when ahead. You know, often these beautiful positional exchange sacrifices after which uh, they assess the position as plus three. And, um, well, I look at a lot of examples like that in, uh, in my new book, The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement. Um, I mean, my struggle with such plays is not really the sacrifice itself, um, but it's more um, my uncertainty as to whether... Um, you know, whether I'm overdoing things a little bit, you know, would a, a simple sober continuation be better than sacrificing material like that? You know, less is more, as the, uh, the English often say. And um, similarly, in defence, uh, Stockfish and Leela particularly, um, they're extremely willing to give up material um, in, um, in worse positions. And, uh, you know, once again, the challenge is um, deciding whether you're overreacting. You know, is my position that bad? Do I really need to do that? Um, and there's no easy answer to it. You know, um, you know particularly in defence, giving back material, it's uh, related to the skill of, of judging the long-term course of the game. Um, you know, you have to feel out the future course of the game and uh, and just sense um, you know whether um, you really have to do something extraordinary or not and um, the way I try to do it is uh, I often just run sample lines through my head you know this is not best play but just plausible natural play and, and just try and work out a little bit you know d does uh, do I have the feeling that um, that I can survive just by playing normally or should I really be trying to do something uh, something extra and, um, well, this game is a beautiful example of this, um, you know, because uh, Leela gives up um, a pawn to, uh, well, completely ease its uh, defensive burden. But I I'm still not 100% sure whether it was necessary or not. So Leela played this move h5 in this position. And uh, Chess24 did a review of the, the Season 17 Super Final, where this is taken from. Um, uh, Stockfish was white, Leela was black, and... Uh, well, Geary, Fresinet and Peter Heine Nielsen, they all uh, express their uh, amazement at this move. Um, I mean, White has sacrificed a pawn for uh, some general pressure against the black position. Um, you know, it's hard to, to point to a specific threat, but certainly the pressure of the rook on h7 and the passivity of the black rook on h8 is definitely part of White's compensation. So h5 just turns that all on its head. I mean, if I play bishop h5, then suddenly... Um, it's uh, well white's got the <laughs> white's under pressure on the h file because the bishop on h5 is pinned to the rook on h1 and after stockfish's um, rook takes h5 takes takes queen e7 knight b3 c6 followed by bishop d7 and castles Leela had just neutralized any hint of a white initiative and uh, just had a you know a perfectly even position so, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful, clean, equalising idea. It's just a little part of me, you know, sort of curls its lip and stamps its feet and says, you know, I was a pawn up. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think, a, you know, a very fine defensive idea and um, a really good example of how um, engines like Stockfish and Leela defend.